Have you ever been out with Bradley Cooper at a strip joint, partied all night, had like 15 shots of tequila, come out to your car and your battery's dead because you left your personal massager plugged into the cigarette lighter? I'm about to share with you guys a solution to that problem. What I'm excited to talk to you guys today about is a new automotive battery put out by a company called Anti-Gravity. These batteries, they have what they call restart technology. You hit a button and it kicks the power back up. Now, what does that mean? There's essentially a computer inside this battery pack for both the automotive and for the motorcycle battery that senses the voltage. So if the battery starts to lose power and drop to a certain level, a battery, yes. move! It turns itself off and that means it disconnects from the car to save your battery so that you can start it. So when you get back in the car and it won't start, you either A, hit this remote button, which is pretty straightforward, or B, hit the button on the battery. Now this makes it super easy because you could just have it in your car and hit the button. But regardless, watch what happens when I click this button. Light comes on, battery starts the car. It has enough power in reserve to start your car. No more AAA, no more battery cables. Compared to what we consider to be the durable lead acid batteries, a lot of the benefits have to do with weight uh, and reliability and duty cycles. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Mm. I don't even know this thing will take it. This is the battery I took out of my car. 45 pounds, 750 cold cranking amps. This one, 1500 cold cranking amps. Like it's twice what I needed. 15 pounds. Super, super lightweight. This is the heaviest one. They get lighter from there. You're asking how the hell does that work? Is it a box of miracles? Uh, what's in there? Lithium iron phosphate or LIFEPO is what these are made from. They're much more stable, they're much more hardy, and they will put up with a lot more abuse. Lithium cobalt oxide batteries are the ones that are unstable. Those are the ones you hear about blowing up in airplanes, in cell phones, computers, and catching fire. Now, I'm not gonna get into all the chemistry here because frankly, it's a little over my damn head. It's no more than an anode and a cathode separated by an electrolyte, right? Right. The key difference here, this battery is a much tougher, safer battery. It will take more duty cycles and it will put out more power per pound than the others. Remember, if this thing saves you 30 pounds in your car, to do something equivalent to that in your performance car or race car, Man, we're talking $50,000 worth of carbon fiber and titanium parts in your car. And yes, I know because we've built titanium motorcycles and carbon fiber pieces, the cost difference is hugely significant, not just in materials, but in engineering. This by far is the best way to save power in your car and increase reliability. They have standard models for most passenger cars and certainly performance cars. I stuck this battery in my car and it just turns over so fast, it's ridiculous. It's not a huge deal, but the difference between how fast that engine turns over right now versus the other battery I had that was perfectly fine and weighed 35 pounds more, it spins over a lot quicker. But I wanted to show you something that um, is kind of a side benefit of using uh, lithium batteries for your car over lead acid batteries. As you know, lead acid is corrosive. Uh, it has to breathe. When it gets hot, it needs a vent. There's lots of things that are a problem. But if you look really close, you can actually see that there's what looks to be like dirt and sand around my battery. This bolt that holds the thing down is rusted over the 24 years and this car has lived and whatever battery that was in it has leaked. Um, probably got hot, maybe it was overcharged, it bubbled. All that's because of battery acid. And this vent is no longer needed because this battery doesn't need to vent. Anyway, I'm in love with the damn thing. I think it's pretty cool. One thing to consider when using these batteries, you don't want to use just your standard battery charger. You want to use a battery charger specifically made for LifePo batteries. There's a couple out there that are good for that. I also recommend that you use the pigtail with the connector on it so that it'll adapt to any of your battery charger. It makes it super, super simple in a car or a motorcycle because getting to the battery is not always an easy thing to do. But if you've got a great little pigtail poked out from the side of the bike, plug it in and just leave it on the charger when you're not riding the bike. It won't hurt the battery because the LifePo charger knows when to turn itself off and not overcharge the battery. As always, we highly recommend you actually read the manual that comes with these batteries. It's not super long. I actually read the manual that came with this battery when I put one in my Porsche because I wanted to understand how to use the thing and how to treat it. It has good information in it. It will keep you from making mistakes because you don't want to wreck something as nice as this thing. So guys, seriously, we've got these in stock. We're ordering more all the time. If you're a performance-oriented guy, there's no better way to gain power than losing weight. 
I know that car batteries are not something you expect to get from a motorcycle company, but this is technology I really, really wanted to share. The money you spend on this is well, well worth it. You won't be sorry. Now's the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not gonna ask you for that. What I'm gonna say to you is, if you wanna see more videos and you wanna learn more of what we've learned, and you wanna see a deep dive in a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.